Hey everybody, Ryan Schramm. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I wanted to bring you a quick video today on Proposition 19. Prop 19's on the 2020 ballot. We're all gonna be voting on it, and it has to do with real estate. It's a very relevant proposition to a lot of my clients, and I'm gonna include a, a former video that I did explaining uh, Prop 60 and Prop 90 the way that the property tax basis transfer currently works. I'll put that in this link below so you can watch that video. And in this video, I'll be explaining on the new Prop 19 how it would change the transfer of property tax basis, which applies to so many of my clients. So currently, if you're a homeowner, 55 years or older, you can sell your primary residence and transfer the tax basis one time so long as the new property you're buying is of equal or lesser value. So it's a little bit restrictive, especially since we've seen home prices climb. It's a lot, oftentimes difficult for somebody to go get a new property that's equal or lesser value. It's very limiting. It's a nice rule, Prop 60 and Prop 90 are, because you can take that lower property tax basis from the original primary residence and go take it to a new home, but the restrictive part of that is equal or lesser value. So what does Prop 19 do? Prop 19 is going to allow for a homeowner 55 years or older to transfer their property tax basis now to a more expensive home. Equal or lesser value still applies, yes, but the new, the new part of 19 allows for even a more expensive home to be purchased. So it opens up opportunities for people who want to move. Um, they want to move from, say, LA to Orange County, but they just can't find a home that's equal or lesser value. Prop 19 would expand the opportunities for those homeowners. Another huge part of 19 is that you can do it up to three times and anywhere in the state. The way that it works now and has worked is that only certain counties honor the, the jumping of the transfer of tax basis, Prop 19 would open it up to the whole state of California. It would make homeowners who are 55 years or older eligible for this transfer three times. So really, this would open up a lot more opportunity for people. It would create uh, more homes for sale too, which would be nice because in California, there's such a tight home, uh, housing inventory. But with any proposition, you have to look at the pros and cons. So one of the cons of Proposition 19, a trade-off, if you will, is that the inherited property tax, the way that those homes are taxed, there's gonna be some changes. And currently the way that it works is if uh, a son or a daughter inherits a property from a parent who has passed, they are able to keep the lower property tax basis through the inheritance rule that's gonna go away. So if, if someone inherited a property that had a, a very low tax basis and the home was now worth much more than the parents have paid, they can keep the tax basis low. But Prop 19 says if you inherit the property and use it for a rental, the property tax basis is gonna go up. If you inherit the property and you use it for a primary residence, the property tax can stay low. So it would affect people who wanna use an inherited property for a rental it would not affect people who want to use an inherited property for a primary residence. So that's an important factor. So those are the main big 30,000 feet above perspective rules on Prop 19. There are a few other nuances in here. If you have any questions on this, I have the whole bill in front of me, call me. We can talk through it and how it applies to you because this is a big one. Um, the Association of Realtors is promoting a yes on 19, obviously. You have to do your homework and figure out where you stand on it. But I wanted to bring uh, this video to you so you could see how it applies kind of to the daily real estate world. If you have any questions, email me or call me and I'll talk to you soon.